All right, guys, it's time to tame a phoenix. Our current location, this is where you will be taming. Uh, north, 4.92, east, 3.59. The location is called the Caves of Plavno. At the end of this cave, there will be a phoenix. Um, now, this is a little bit trickier to tame than other other flying creatures. Um, one of the biggest challenges you're going to have taming this phoenix is the other players on your server. Um, because in PvP, the phoenix is the king of the skies. It's the fastest mount. It hits like a truck when it comes to air to air. A few things you're going to need before you come in here if you're going to use my method. Um, now, if you're very high level, like in the 50s, then you can just steamroll through this cave, but there's a there's a ton of fairies in this cave um, As well as other creatures and so what I'm gonna do is Instead of killing everything I'm gonna go use invis. So I'm gonna use dark essence to uh, Self Oh Nope dark essence to utility good thing that we had a couple extra so dark essence to utility That's gonna give us stealth now while you're stealthed, you can ride on your broom, and NPCs will not suspect you, but players can still hear you because the broom is very loud, and I believe they'll be able to see the trail of the broom behind you. Um, so you need that. Another thing you're going to want... Ah, crap, crap. Okay, let's... Changing that. I'm going to put this on the melee. And yeah, I'm on single player, just FYI. Um... Because I've I, we've actually have tamed this on official PvP. I didn't have a video though, but it was really it took a while, um, and so I'm coming back on single player. Um, now we're gonna put our pacify spell on our wand. I do find that it works best on a wand. That could m might not be correct, but in my experience, it works best. So Pat, we're gonna use uh, light essence and fairy dust. Fill this up with fairy dust to give you more range. Fairy dust is an easy. Um, kind of item to have and with the fairy dust it's going to give you an additional 27% range if you use five fairy dust it's not a huge loss to your resources you can get back five fairy dust in a pinch all right first thing we're going to do broom hop on broom have your stealth ready as soon as we hit this corner stealth now you're going to be slower because I'm on single player but you will make it to this point that I'm going to show you, the break point where you're going to let your stealth cool down. You're going to come, once you get in the room with the bears, there's no sprites in here, you're going to land on this rock right here, let your mana refill from flying, and you need to, you're going to have to wait for this stealth to cool down so you can use it again. Um, some t yeah, the bears will aggro you, but they can't get you, and those sprites typically won't aggro you. I've, I kid you not, I've done this so many times on official PvP, coming through here with a regular broom, stealthing, coming on this ledge, waiting for my mana to come back from flying, waiting on this stealth to cool down. And if you see on my left ability, you can see where the stealth is still cooling down. All right, getting ready for stealth. So the trick here that you... Ugh, that was ugly sounding. The trick here, broom first. We're going to peek the corner while we're on our broom so there's a fairy go stealth and then go because you're gonna this we're gonna be cutting it close on the stealth if the phoenix is flying okay phoenix is landed perfect so what we're gonna do if the phoenix is is a grounded phoenix come to this little half donut thing over here land there's gonna be giant eagles in here um, and then a phoenix now this phoenix is not always going to be grounded. It sometimes will be flying. It's still possible to tame it. Now keep in mind, this phoenix does not, will not respawn if you go in and out of render. It's going to be, it's going to stay here until it's either killed or tamed. Another thing to keep in mind, when this phoenix is tamed, it takes several days IRL in real life for it to respawn unless the server crashes and resets so if it's tamed it's basically you're not gonna be able to if someone else tames it you're gonna have to wait a few days or once the server resets immediately come back here with that being said 
there on my last server I was on, there was a group of guys that if the server reset, they immediately came here, and they the, their entire group came. They would block the entrance with a few phoenixes, a pyrite, inferno dragon. They did not let anybody else get phoenixes on the server. Except we, we snuck one in when only one of them were online. But, alright. Same thing as always when taming. First thing we gotta do is weaken it. Phoenix is right below us. It does have flamethrower. It and well, since it can't fly, it can't dive bomb us, which is the most devastating attack it has. So, same as we always do, ice blizzard attack. Okay. And watch this whole video. I'm going to show you some things you can do if it's not landed, because you might just get a crappy. It just might be. I mean, it might be flying. And we tamed a flying one, so it is possible. Note, it's 48, so I'm barely high enough to tame it. The, I've seen them, they vary in level, but yeah, you're going to want to be in your high 30s before you even... Oh, God, I almost killed it. All right, we need to take some more HP off of it. We need, we're going to go to this stone head axe because it doesn't have a lot of, a lot of uh, damage on it. We're going to put this arcane blast now actually you know what we could do craft if oh we don't have the resources if you had a low level wand craft art the beam the arcane beam what the heck that was weird craft the arcane beam and um oh no that hurts by the way that hurts be careful um and use that to get it down that was something that uh one of the comments on tame a dragon some guy said and i was like hmm that's a good idea the lower you get the health, the quicker it's going to tame. So let's see if we can hit it through the... I'm going to fly and try to blast it. Oh! Now, the flamethrower does hurt a lot less than the dive bomb. If it's flying, it is going to dive bomb you. That is like, even with my official character, it's like a two-shot. Alright, we need a projectile. This is not working. Alright, let me, um... Let me see... What is that? Okay, I'm gonna put... I'm afraid it's gonna hit really hard, but we're gonna do, uh... We'll do beam. We'll do beam on a wand. Um, we're just gonna come over here and give it a little poke. Pokey, pokey, poke. Just keep... Oh! Yeah, that hit hard, so... Just give it a tap. Please don't hit too hard. Tap. Tap. Come on, tap. Nope. Tap. There it is. Okay, that's as low as we're going to get. Now it's time to tame it. This is the best case scenario where the eagles that are usually in here are dead. The phoenix killed them. And it's grounded. Best case scenario. Don't expect this to happen every time. Now, with it being this low, we can probably hover tame it if you have potions. If you have mana potions. Probably hover tame it. Now, if you can get it lower than this, we got ours below... I don't remember, actually. But yeah, we got it lower. The problem is that ugh, if it's flying, you're just going to have to kind of wing it. And it's going to get sloppy. Oh, no, don't kill me. Yeah, that's the only thing. So if you can tame it over here, it's a little bit better. So you don't get hit by the flamethrower. But we've already started taming it. We just need it to come back. Come on. Come on, buddy. And his flamethrower seems like... It seems like he'll use flamethrower at a lot further distance than the dragon will. Alright, we're going to start taming this. Hopefully it tames. I'm going to show you... Stick around. I'm going to show you what to do if it's flying. If you're not willing to give it up. Well, actually, you could... If you have the capability, you could kill it. And it'll respawn. Um, if, it, if it gets killed... Ah, uh, that might be my life. If it gets killed, it will respawn. But if it gets tamed, then that's when you're kind of in trouble. Come on, buddy. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, so this does... You do have to finesse this a little bit. And the eagles, unfortunately, will respawn at some point. So that's going to be fun. Come on, dude. Like, you're over here hitting me with all these blasts, fire blasts. You don't want to come get tamed? All right, we got to be very delicate not to get too close. OK, 
Come on. So we're like right out of range, but he's gonna flamethrower us. Um, this is easier with more people, but I'm showing you in single player. You don't want to fire blast me. No, no, no. You don't want to. Alright, come on. Just stay there. You know you like being stuck in that corner. Whew, I don't have a heal spell on me, so after I tame him, I'm not going to actually... After he's fully pacified, I'm not going to tame him right away. I'm going to see if I can put a heal spell on to heal him before those eagles come back. No, 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 no. Gotta keep eating my stew. Oh, uh, I got too close on that. Okay, just stay there. You know you want to be tamed. Um, yeah, so the la we actually did... Well, I, my girlfriend and I switched servers. Uh, because... Yeah, every time we went to bed, these this group of guys would basically... Offline raid our base and... Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot you can do when there's a group of people who essentially are on all the time, <laughs> which is fine, you know, it's PvP, but it's a little annoying. It's like, dude, like, who? maybe it's a kid or maybe they don't work, I don't know, but um, yeah, and then his excuse of why they kept offline raiding is that because online raiding crashes the server. And I'm like, wow. Okay, dude, that's cool. Um, but yeah, so just to let you know, on the big base we had, I've, I, you might have seen the big base in prior videos. It was the base itself was pretty stacked. It had one major flaw, and that was didn't know this, but overlapping force fields, bad idea. Um, the turrets will shoot that we'll get stopped at an overlapping force field. And basically what the guy did, um, which in my opinion is complete BS, but hey, you know, it's it's not like he, he didn't cheat or anything, so, you know, can't be too mad, but he just basically sat there and landed his dragon inside our force field and just let the turrets shoot our own force field until it ran all our generators out, which we had six generators. Alright, light, we need a heal and spell before we physically tame this thing. We're going to go light to... What do we got? Beam. Light beam. It's going to be a healing beam. Go tame this puppy. Now, the only thing... If you leave them too long without taming them, they will turn on you. Even though they'll be pacified... Oh, come on, dude. Okay, there we go. Um, they will start to attack you, but they'll still be fully pacified. Oh, we need to heal this thing before this pig comes over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, there we go, he's got 5k. Yeah, pig, you don't want none. Alright, so Phoenix is tamed. That's best possible scenario. Didn't have to deal with any mobs, didn't have to deal with any players, and the phoenix was landed. Now, worst case scenario, you have to deal with players. You have to deal with mobs, the phoenix isn't landed. This was my, that's my scenario on official PvP. Especially because the guy that essentially was in charge of, or was ahead of this house that, um, they were doing all the offlining, he runs this cave for fairy dust because all the fairies in here. So he would kept he kept coming in, and I would sometimes he wouldn't see me, sometimes he would, because I would go invis and and hide, and he would like try to fight me, but he was pretty honestly pretty trash, great at offlining, trash at PvP, never killed me in PvP, tried to he once I got out chased me with Phoenix, didn't kill me, sicked his pyrite on me, didn't kill me. Um, all right, there's a few little cubbies in here if the Phoenix is flying. Or if you're trying to hide. You can get up here with a broom. And I've been in here with the Phoenix. There's a specific place you can get up in here. And the Phoenix can't hit you. But it will attempt to dive bomb you through this. And sometimes it'll hit. Um, 
Now the next place is I wish yeah, I can't build in here, otherwise I would um go ahead and make a saddle, but we'll just put this thing on follow. Follow aggressive. That way I don't even have to tell it to do anything. It'll kill all this stuff. We'll go ahead and bring out our ice attack. I'm gonna show you guys if it's flying what to do. First of all, if it's flying, you are going to have to clear this cave out. Well, maybe not, but you're gonna have to pull the Phoenix all the way out to the edge of the cave. We've done it, it takes a while. Um, the only issue with this, of course, with this method of pulling the Phoenix into the cave, it can be done, but if there's other players coming through this cave, then yeah, you're gonna have an issue, so bring your friends if possible. Just gotta clear all this. We're just gonna clear it because that's what I'm telling you to do. Um, now, the Phoenix, when it's flying, it's gonna get stuck on crevices, and what you can do if it gets stuck, there's these little cubby holes throughout the cave that you can try to shoot through to aggro it. See, you can, like, I can, if you had, um, we've shot, like, fire blast through that, try to aggro it. Or peek around as soon as it start, starts come and go because it's basically a one or two shot when it does the dive bomb. I'm just gonna pull it to the end here. Oh, oh, that hurts. Come on, Phoenix. Like, do your thing. Um, it's taking a little longer than I thought it would. All right. Come on, dude. You're on follow, aren't you? Yeah, follow aggressive. Come on. Oh, he's trying to get the bear. This bear is stuck in the wall. We'll kill it with the ice spell, and then he should deaggro. There we go. All right, come on. Come on, Phoenix. <laughs> this is still easier than trying to get it out of the cave if it's flying. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to fly back there. <laughs> oh my gosh. What I will do is um, have the Phoenix come to me and I'll make a saddle and fly back there on the saddle. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Phoenix. Yeah, and I ran out, my broom ran out, so it, it broke. So I'm gonna run out here. Oh, you know what? That Phoenix is probably gonna decay. I don't have a sprint on me. Come on, Phoenix. Come out of there. There you go. Make a quick saddle. There you go. Good job, Phoenix. Okay. Workbench. They need a snap option in this game for when you're trying to play structures. Alright, that's going to take a hot minute. Um, I don't need a broom. I do need this phoenix. Uh, flying speed's boosted. The phoenix is not that fast. Okay, wait a minute. Defensive. Can we get him to land is the question. Probably not. Okay, nope. He's cracked. He's he's on his crack. Just stay. Just stay. Oh, he's in the safe zone again? Or no? Crack kills, bro. Alright, he's on uh, five hours, because I did give him some milk when we were in there. Saddle's almost done. We'll fly up there. I'll show you the method. Um, and then post questions below. Um, and I will post a video for the Infernal dra how to tame the Inferno Dragons. Um, as well, they're probably easy- well, not probably, definitely easier than a Phoenix. Um, you do need to be l at least level 50, and even then sometimes you won't find, um, 
level, you know, sometimes they'll be 61, which would be too high for you to tame. But yeah, there are grounded Inferno Dragons on the map uh, that you can tame. And you know what? I'm going to make the... I'm going to use the Essence of Wings. That's going to take an eternity to... Jeez. Well, these are both taking forever, so... Now, once we get on this Phoenix, because of the boosted flying speed, it's going to be booming. But keep in mind, the Phoenix is faster than any other flying tame in this game. So once you have the Phoenix in a dogfight, you should have superior control in the air because you should be able to stay constantly uh, fire blasting your opponent. And I can't, I don't think I can get to the Phoenix until that flying thing is made. Yeah, he's still on five hours, so we're good on that. Yeah, I can't reach him, so I gotta have... And he keeps flying in circles, but... Yeah, Phoenix is the air-to-air -air champion. So, first of all, if you have... If you're on a dragon, I don't even advise fighting someone who's on a Phoenix. Your best bet is to just try to escape. Either through... Just swim deep in the water... Um, and let your character die and then whistle your tame or try to get to a fast travel point Phoenixes are crazy OP in, in air to air PvP Okay, we almost got this come on, you know you want to All right, we got that Go ahead and put that puppy on fly up to this guy And we're off so we need to go back to the caves of Plavno, which are all the way up here, and then I'll show you the method on how we tamed a flying phoenix in the cave. And yeah, the phoenix has the flamethrower and a bite. And um, I don't know, I, I haven't used the phoenix too much, but um, my black dragon, I got into a scuffle with a guy in a phoenix. And it seemed like he was able to dive bomb damage it. I guess I would have to, I'm gonna have to test it out. I don't think he was biting it. I think he was dive bomb. It was shredding. He was shredding it with something other than the um, the flamethrower. So and just to reiterate, yeah, it's not gonna be this fast, but it is faster than other flying mounts. Oh, trying to slow down on this thing is something. Okay. Let's see if I can find something to kill and see if the dive bomb works. Mm, I don't think that. No, maybe not. Maybe he. Maybe he bit it. Let's see how much the bite does. Two thousand. Maybe I don't know. I thought he dive bombed it for some reason. Let me um. One thing I will say is the phoenix, yeah, I guess why it flies around like that. It's not like the dragon where it can go in one direction. It can only go straight. And so the flight is definitely different. All right, let me go to the cave. Um, and I'll show you the method here. Let me hop off of this guy. So you're going to bring it all the way to the end of the cave until you get to this point right here. You're going to want the phoenix on the other side of this. And you can fly through this hole. What you do is you weaken the phoenix on this side. And then if it hits you, you get on this side to heal yourself. And then you start weakening it again. It's going to fly into that room. It'll fly all around this room. And then it's also going to fly over in this room. Now, once it gets to this room, you have to be careful. You need to pull it back into this back room. Because around this corner is the exit to the cave, and you don't want your phoenix to get out of the cave. A lot of times it'll get stuck right there. It's not a reliable place to tame it. You need to get it back to this cubby hole. Once it gets back, you can tame it from here. Most of the time it won't be able to hit you. Um, and so you can tame it here. And if it gets too far away and those fairies spawn, use like arcane blast. Where's my arcane blast at? Oh, I took it off for the heal, but yeah, use the arcane blast. Like, let's pretend that's arcane blast. 
to get it back aggro to you. Get it down very low and the same method. It's just going to take longer to tame because it's going to be flying around like a freaking crazy person. Anyway, if you have questions about how to tame it, please ask. Um, it's not terribly hard, but it's also definitely one of the hardest <laughs> harder things to do in regards to PvE in this game. Um, but yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. And uh, wow, this phoenix took a ton of damage from... Unless I... That was weird. Yeah, it took a ton of damage. But yeah, so you'll notice though, tankier than the your typical... This is the upgrade to the flame dragon. Tankier than the flame dragon, but not tankier than an inferno dragon. Um, 